For many years, we've been used to crossings that show green and red figures on the pedestrian signal on the opposite side of the road. Now there's a new type of crossing which is better for both pedestrians and drivers. It's called a puffin. More and more of these crossings are appearing on our streets. This is what they look like. The green and red figures are included in the pedestrian control box on the pole at your side of the road and there are no lights for you to watch on the opposite side of the road. Now watch closely as we show you how to use them. When you want to cross the road at a puffin crossing, look for the control box on the pole at your side of the road. When you look at the box, you can see also the traffic coming towards you. Do not cross when the red figure, that's the one at the top, is showing. To stop the traffic, press the button. Look how it lights up. Now wait until the green figure at the bottom lights up and the traffic has stopped in both directions. It's now safe to cross. The traffic lights will stay red for drivers until you've reached the other side of the road. Just watch again. Stop when the red figure is showing. Press the button. Wait until the green figure shows and the traffic has stopped and then you can safely cross the road. Sometimes you might arrive at a crossing which has the green figure showing and other people are crossing the road. If so, you can also cross, even if you're on the opposite side of the road, but first check that the traffic is still stationary. After the green signal for pedestrians ends, the traffic is stopped by a red traffic light until all pedestrians cross the road and get to the other side. Do not worry that you cannot see a signal. The crossing equipment will not allow drivers to be given a green signal until the crossing is clear. This is very helpful for people who walk more slowly, such as young children and those people who have walking difficulties. When pedestrians do cross quickly, a long delay is not needed and traffic is allowed to move as soon as the crossing is clear. This means traffic can start again as soon as everyone has crossed. Sometimes people press the button and then cross the road in gaps in the traffic before the signal changes. At puffin crossings, when this happens, the pedestrian request is cancelled. This also means traffic is not held up when no one is using the crossing. However, as long as someone is waiting, the request to cross will not cancel. These crossings have detectors so that they can tell when there are people waiting to cross, but you must still press the button. These detectors also watch the crossing and control the lights so you have enough time to cross, even those of you who are disabled or elderly. Underneath the control box, there is a cone-shaped device, which goes round when it's safe to cross the road. Good girl. There's the box. Come on. Where is it? By holding this, those who cannot see will know when the green figure is lit up and the traffic has stopped. A bleeper sound is sometimes used at traffic signal crossings when the green figure shows. This helps blind people to know when to cross. The bleeping sound is not used if it could be confusing to pedestrians crossing the road. For example, if two crossings are very close together, it could be difficult for some people to tell which one is bleeping. People who cannot see very well find puffins helpful because the red and green figures are nearer and easier to see. Special paving called tactile paving, that's the paving with bumps on, helps people with very poor sight to find the control box and also the edge of the pavement. Some puffin crossings have two sets of control boxes, one higher than the other. This is to help at busy crossings, when it may not be possible for all pedestrians to see the control box because of other people waiting. This higher level box also shows the red and green figures, so you can tell when it's safe to cross the road. You will see on this one, as well as the figures, there are also red and green bicycles. When a puffin crossing has these signs, it can be used by cyclists as well as pedestrians. At the moment, there are different types of pedestrian signals. Some on the opposite side of the road, and some on the same side as you. One day, most crossings will be puffins. And this will be much better for pedestrians because there will only be a red figure or a green figure and they will be on the same side as you. It will also be simpler for drivers.
because traffic will be held on a red traffic light while pedestrians cross, removing confusion caused by the flashing amber signal at pelican crossings.